Alrighty. So this is a quick video on addressing the problem that if you try and do the following pseudo, we're, the premise of this is that we're trying to fix clam AV inside of Remnux 7. And if you try and do it using the remove the old clam AV and installing a new one, um, and you get the following error. Basically, it's saying there's something wrong with the package management database or repository list or something. And it's asking us to fix it by running sudo dpackage configure a, which is basically reconfiguring all the packages. So we need to run that command sudo dpkg configure a. And this will go. It'll run for some time, and eventually it will give you your um, command prompt back. After a while, you should see your prompt coming back, just like we have here. You may want to pause the playback of this video and wait until you see that you get your prompt back. Once you have your prompt, at this point you should be able to carry through with the activity of removing the old clamp AV and installing a new one. It is simply sudo, it is simply sudo apt remove clam av this time it doesn't throw any errors it probably has something to do with some nuanced aspect of the way that we set it up yes we want to remove the old one And we also want to remove clam TK if it's installed. It is unlikely that it is installed. Okay. We also wish to remove clam uh, fresh clam, which is the tool that updates clam. It probably got removed when we removed clam AV. Now that that's done, sudo apt clean to clean up any issues in the local repository. sudo apt auto remove, remove any files that are not necessary at this point. This is basically cleaning up our local instance of the aptitude management, uh, package management tool. And once that's done, now you can do a sudo apt install clam AV and it'll go through and it'll install the clam antivirus software for us. As you are running this in Azure it should be quite fast the download and install. For interest purposes you should also install the clam TK which again is a Windows based front end to the clam AV. This one needs a confirmation to install because it installs a lot of dependencies as well. Now that you have that all installed, you can then run against, oh sorry, now that you have it all installed, you can do clam fresh to update, sorry, you can do fresh clam to update your instance of the malware signature file. Please note that it's going to complain about one thing at a certain part of this update. Again, because we're running within Azure, we've got the high-speed network 
um, connecting to repositories online. So this part should be fairly fast. If you were to do this locally, it would be a lot slower. When it gets to updating Clam Daemon or Clam D, it's saying, you know what, Clam D isn't running, so I really can't update it or notify it that it's been updated. And that's fine. We're not in this malware testing environment. We don't want that in place. Finally, if you go to your, if you go to your um, We'll just do it this way. If you go to your activities and you go to all activities, you may or may not see Clam TK sitting there. It's a little icon that looks like this a clam shell with a target on it. When we launch that, this will launch the graphical front end to the anti malware scanner. You can use this. And um, you can also do updates through it as well, but you can do specific either scan a file or scan a directory. It tells us an update is available, so it might not be a bad idea to do an update at this point.